I found this module online for 4 US dollars. And what is it? It's a DC input voltage from 4 to 40 volts, 200 watts, voltage regulator module, digital PWM, adjustable DC to DC step down voltage regulator and the model is XL4016 module and it's pretty small. It's a 4.7 centimeters by 6.4 centimeters. I order it and of course I got it. Oh yeah, I see bubbles! Oh, finally they decide let's send Mr. Hacktuber some bubbles. Oh. Here it is, the module, nicely packed. Come on. All right. Okay, and the model is XL4016. Some of you comment how I fix the noisy solar turntable that make some weird noises and I have add some electronic grease to the gears that was the solution and believe me right now it's working perfect and let's see this module in 360 okay while I'm reading you the specifications of this module it says that is the same module as XHM404 and it says that the input voltage is from 4, 4 to 40 volts and the output voltage can be adjustable from 1.25 to 36 volts. More than 5 ampere current, please enhance heat dissipation. Okay, The low voltage display pre precision is 0 0.01 volt. Product name DC voltage regulator, input voltage output here it says maximum current 8 amperes. Long work proposal is 5 amperes. All right. Maximum power 200 watts. Efficiency 94%. And switching frequency 180 kilohertz. Nice. And before testing, the sponsor of this video is JLC PCB. Improve your designs with JLC PCBs, high precision 6 layer PCBs. JLC PCB offers free via in pad to optimize routing, efficiency and electrical performance. Each 6 layer PCB is 4 wire tested for quality assurance. Benefit from rapid 48 hour delivery and prices starting at just $2. Also, you can get $30 of coupons for 6 layer PCB order. Ordering a PCB board is simple. Upload your Gerber files, bill of materials and component placement. Next, the JLC PCB Auto system matches selected parts and confirm the selections. Next step is ordering and you can receive your finished boards in as fast in as one week. For more info, check JLC PCB today. Ok, let's continue with today's video review, which is this DC to DC converter. And let me tell you that from the left side we have this connector and this is DC input and on this connector we have DC output. Also we have a LED voltmeter right here and this blue thing called multi-turn potentiometer is for adjusting the output voltage. Also we have here a tiny potentiometer for adjusting the voltmeter. Remember that. All right. I'm gonna hook up the wires and do some testing. I have placed some input and output wires and right now I'm gonna connect the input and we will send 12 volts set on my power supply in 3, 2, 1. Whoa! Okay, the module is working but one thing is missing. What is that? That is just for you guys. I'm gonna a add some red filter so we can see better the voltage. That is nice. Is it better? Yes. Okay. 
can you see it I can adjust the voltage let's go to down how to how much 1 point 1 point 22 and I can hear it the multi-turn potentiometer go to the maximum okay I'm gonna set to oh, let's say 1.33 volts and I'm gonna measure the voltage now with my multimeter is it correct is set on 1.3 negative to negative positive to positive this is auto range multimeter rechargeable multimeter and here it's 1.315 that is nice let's adjust the, adjust the voltage a little bit to let's say to how much let's say 5.4 on the module 5.3 on the multimeter so I can adjust that with this tiny potentiometer here I can do it I need smaller screw let's try with this one yes I can adjust it let's say to to show 5.3 Three, four, three, five. It's okay. Now let's adjust the output a little bit more. Let's say eight point four, eight point three seven. Nice. All right. Let me explain what I have here. First, this is my power supply, adjustable power supply that will be power source for the DC DC converter. From the power supply, we get. 30 volts input voltage 30 volts for the DC DC converter right here but the output voltage is set on 20 volts here I have my homemade electronic load that can handle 30 volts and 5 amperes maximum so the input voltage is 30 volts the output is 20 volts let's say that you have hook up a solar panel on the input but you want to adjust the voltage to 20 volts and this is the electronic load I'm gonna increase the current and right now we are pulling around 50 watts with the electronic load you can see that on my power supply input voltage 30 volts 1.6 amperes input the output is 20 volts 2.2 amperes we are going up 2.5 amperes 2.8 2.8 9 3 amperes 3.5 amperes and it's working great the voltage stays at 20 volts okay now here I have a car bulb that is 12 volt and I think that is pulling how much current this is 55 watt car bulb the input voltage will be 24 volts I'm gonna reduce it the voltage to 12 volts power on and take a look the voltage can you see it the voltage is 12.1 volt super bright light and from power supply is pulling 65 watts 2.6 2.7 amperes and the module is good is it hot no all right power off i love this power supply i made myself and i love it the module is from the factory but the the rest is made by me and let's test this let's make a short i made a short the voltage dropped to 1.4 all right 1.6 volts and burnout no but the clips are hot oh but the module is not burning out that is nice okay 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 that was all for today video review of this DC to DC converter step down and it's pretty nice and cheap Okay, 
please give a like, share and subscribe to my channel. See ya!